In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change your engine oil and engine oil filter on a 2019 Chevy Silverado. The first thing you'll do is pop the hood and the hood release location is on the lower panel, kick panel here where your knees are gonna be and that'll pop your hood. You'll reach your hand in the center of the grill and you will go ahead and press the tab to the driver's side. It's this tab right here, it's black and it's hard to see. So you go ahead and just press this tab over and it'll move right on over for you. This Chevy's equipped with a 5.3 liter V8 gasoline engine. And if you're not sure which model you have in your truck, you can go ahead and find the vehicle emissions control information sticker, which is gonna be located on the intake box or on the roof of the hood here. Before we change or drain the oil, I always like to pull the dipstick out, wipe off the dipstick, reinsert it, and check the oil level. So there's actually absolutely nothing on this dipstick which means that we are over a quart low. This line to this line typically represents one quart of engine oil, and this thing having only 50,000 miles, not good that it's low on oil. So the first thing you'll wanna do is get underneath the vehicle with an oil drain pan and remove the 15 millimeter bolt that is your oil drain pan plug right here. So we'll go ahead and get this guy loose, get our drain pan in position, start cleaning it out. This is located in the center of the oil pan. You do not have to remove any panels to get to it. It is easily accessible. It's probably easier to get to it from behind the driver's side rear tire. So I'll crack it loose. And then I'll get my pan in position and get to draining. Now while the engine oil is draining, I always like to shine a light at it to see what color it is, how well I can see through it, and if there's any sort of silver bits down in the drain pan as well, which I don't see any, but this oil is definitely pretty dirty, and I have absolutely no light shining through it. So this is definitely past its oil change. And plug it back up, and then I'll just go ahead and snug her down. Looking for around 20 foot-pounds of torque. I'll update the video description. But that's nice right there. Basically, it makes contact. You go roughly about a quarter turn, and she's on there tight. It doesn't need to be on there super tight. Everybody over torques these things. Please stop, for the love of God. And we'll go ahead and get this out of the way. And we'll grab our filter wrench, and we'll get at it. Now, I'm pretty much always begging people to use AC Delco filters because they are the right size for you to remove this. As you can see, this one I can't get my oil filter wrench in there that well. But luckily, somebody didn't put it in with the force of a god, so I can get it out. So get your pan in place. Alright, so go ahead and let it come out. It'll drip down a little bit. Make sure you have it nice and centered in your pan. Let it drip for a little bit and then you can pull the rest of the way out and dump it straight down. There you go, now you can grab it gently, making sure it doesn't fall out of your hands. Then bring it down and dump it out. Try not to mess up the nice driveway we got here. Once it's come to a really slow drip, you can go ahead and just put the filter, new filter on. And I always like to use AC Delco filters when I can, because they are the perfect size for you to still be able to get your hand in there and the surfaces, wipe up, all the area that you have any sort of additional oil because what you don't want to have is a couple of drips making you think that there's a leak when really it was just someone being lazy not cleaning up after themselves. Go ahead and snug this up. I go three quarter turns once it makes contact. Put it on pretty nice and tight. And wipe up the filter. These CarQuest filters are pretty close to the AC Delco in size so you can get good grip, get your fingers around a little bit on the inside of that pan. They also make a uh, wrench that you can just go in and grab it. But there's a little bit less clearance here because this is an aftermarket filter. So you really wanna make sure that you're using an AC Delco branded filter. It will fit perfect, make it a lot easier for removal. So I'm sure next time I do the oil change on this, I'm gonna be cursing whoever put this on and it's gonna be me. All right, so we went ahead and ordered an AC Delco filter because this is gonna drop me absolutely nuts. 
And let me show you what's going on here. So you can see here, not a ton of space in between the oil filter. And it's a little bit of a shallow filter. So we're gonna put the correct AC Delco filter on there. I should actually be able to spin this guy off. Nope. Alrighty. And then we'll go ahead. You can see here that these filters are the same, but they are not the correct filter. It makes it a real pain in the butt to do it correctly, but this is the correct filter. This is the filter we pulled, we pulled off. You can see pretty big difference, right? So we'll go ahead and put this correct filter on, which will be a lot easier for it to install and uninstall in the future. You want to make sure that you have a nice lubricated O-ring section for the filter to sit on. This will help ensure that you don't have any sort of O-ring damage on your filter as it spins on, that it won't tear, it will swell up nicely and seal. And I'll go ahead and spin this filter on. Okay. I'll just grab my rag, wipe it off, and snug it up. Another three quarters of a turn once it makes contact. And you can see here that this filter has additional space in between here. My finger can go in further between the oil pan. It also drops down a little bit past the oil pan, which makes removal much easier. So whenever you're doing an oil change on your truck, just get the AC Delco filter. It's not much more expensive. Sometimes it's even cheaper. And it's the filter that your truck wants to have anyway. Now we're gonna get on top of the truck and go ahead and fill this thing up with oil. Whenever you're buying engine oil, you just want to make sure that it has the Dexos rating. This cap will also tell you that it requires 0W20. Turn it counterclockwise and remove it. You can see the Dexos and 0W20. So that's what we're going to go ahead and put back in. As long as you have a Dexos certification on your motor oil, you can use it. The proper way to utilize a quart bottle is this way. You want to make sure that the longest point for you to get to is the top of the cap. Everybody does it the opposite way and then you end up making a big mess. All right, news to me, but this is an eight quart oil system. I put in six quarts, checked it, it was empty. Put in seven quarts, checked it, it was empty. I said, no way. Checked on uh, Identifix, which is very similar to all data, and saw that it said eight quarts is the oil capacity. So I'm gonna go ahead and double check that now cap back on maybe on a level surface and there we go now we're full and good that's what I wanted to see was the oil level right here so the dipstick's totally clean I'm gonna reinsert it stick it all the way down pull it all the way back out and you'll see now we are perfectly on the full level and that is where you want it to be so this is an eight quart oil system. Normally, <laughs> I haven't seen one of these before take that much, but here we are. So if your vehicle is not equipped with a keypad right here, you'll want to go ahead and grab your odometer button here and just turn it until you get to the oil life remaining. And then you'll just hold down the odometer button and it'll say, are you sure you want to reset? You click yes and it resets to 100%. The similar process, if you have a keypad right here, you'll just press down until you find the uh, oil reset or the remaining oil life, and then you'll just hold the check mark down. It'll ask you if you want to reset and go. But if you don't have the buttons here, you just work through it with the odometer right here. And that's how you go through and do this sucker.